Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today I'm gonna go do some Lego shopping at Ikea. How weird is that? Yeah, Lego sells Ikea and I've been using the Ikea products for a little while now and I've determined that they are super duper handy when it comes to landscaping, especially when you're trying to do elevation, like build mountains or uh, Santa's mountain, different mountains, I guess, or ski slopes or raised elevated platforms for essentially anything like raising a modular building, whatever it may be. And also it's been brought to my attention that those products at Ikea right now and like today only are 30% off. Today is December 3rd. I was looking at their Lego website, at their Lego website, no, I was looking at the Ikea website and uh, the sale read, uh, valid from December 3rd until December 3rd. I was like, really? So I have to go to Ikea today? Shucks. Well, you know what? I love Ikea. I love the Lego store and I also love Home Depot. So I really don't mind going there. Uh, but I also need to get some other things for the Lego room as well. I've been using a uh, black table for a while and I used to use a white table, but I think I want to get something in the middle something in between, you know? Also, my table's getting all scratched up. It gets scratched so easily. So I think it's time for a new tabletop here in the Lego room. Yeah, but let's head on out to Ikea. Well, isn't that convenient? There's a Tim Hortons right by the Ikea and I need a coffee. I don't know what it is, but I'm just like super tired lately. <sighs> ah, it's so hot. It's so good though. Thank goodness. <laughs> Good old yellow and blue. So this place is only open till five on Sundays and it is just swamped right now. So they're like closing in an hour. Feel like they should stay open a little bit later, maybe six. So I'm in a massive elevator making my way to the showroom because I think that's where the Lego is. I've got my cart here. I hope they have some in stock. Super busy and they're on sale, right? Popular product, I think. See, look, check it out, 30% off the uh, Lego at Ikea for Ikea family members. Good thing I'm a Ikea family member, so definitely gonna capitalize on this sale, right? Not too bad at all. So this one's regular, what, 25 bucks, 23 bucks for this one here. And then the big boy is 30 bucks, but you're gonna save $9 on that. That's a screaming deal. They got lots of inventory too, so that's good. Look at this guy, he's cooking a hot dog. Hey, Chef Boyardee there. <laughs> but this is the small one where you get, uh, I think it's one of these ones and then two of those ones. So that's a good scoop. Yeah, here it is. That's like a whole product right there. And that one is the one for uh, $22.99, less 30%. This is good because these are six bricks tall, right? Which is one of those MERPs or just six bricks. And it's like awesome for raising stuff. like. I just started using these for my mountains, but they're just fabulous. So that's four of each. What do you think? Should I get more? Like I sort of want to future proof my inventory of this Lego product. What is that? I can't say that. I'm not Swedish, but I sort of want to like get a bunch for my inventory, right? Doesn't that make sense? Especially while they're 30% off. But like if I ever get a bigger Lego room, I'm going to do a lot more landscaping. It's going to be my goal to create a lot of elevation in the city. And this can just simplify that so much. And I think it's gonna save me money, maybe not right now, might not feel like it right now, but it's gonna save me money because I don't have to use like a honeycomb brick structure or I don't have to use any brick at all. So it's huge because technically speaking, if you're to build a mountain that's the size of these boxes, pretty much costs you the same or more in brick to do that. Also, it's gonna save me a bunch of time. And I realized that the other day when I was um, taking apart that mountain for the Santa Claus's village, it just came apart so easily because the structure of it is just these boxes. It's brilliant. So I'm just thinking to myself here, these things are only on sale for one more hour. There's still lots here. But you know what, I think I'm gonna go check out the tabletops before I determine how many I'm actually gonna get. See, the tabletops that I usually use are like these ones in white or black. They used to be called Linmen, but they've changed the name of them for some reason. Now they're leg captain. But I find these surfaces scratch quite easily. Also the black 
is almost like a mirror. Like you can sort of see like a reflection in it. So it doesn't really work the best for my camera. And then the white, my camera just struggles with exposure on all white. And I notice when I'm dealing with a white subject, it looks rather dark or in general, it just looks pretty dark because it's struggling with the exposure. So now I'm thinking, well, maybe something in between and something that looks pretty classy is actually a bamboo tabletop. And I see that there's a few different ones. I just need to get one that's not gonna like scratch on me. I feel like this one for a hundred dollars, like is pretty good. And it uses the same table leg, so I can just put my wheel legs on that there. I feel like this one is not as high quality. And same with this one. I feel like this is definitely the best one. It looks really nice. Now I do have a sit-stand desk that's this sort of quality as well, but the problem is, is I need to move my tables around and the sit-stand desk weighs a thousand pounds, so I can't, it doesn't, <laughs> not an actual thousand pounds, but I feel like I need to get one of these here for a hundred bucks. The issue is, is my current desk is actually this length, so it's super long. Whereas that one there is not that long at all. But I can always just pull out another desk. Granted, the color won't match. I just can't really justify buying two of these and spending $200 so that the colors match when I whip out two tables. But I feel like this would be a nice table to film on. So I'm gonna get one of those for sure. I would love to use my sit-stand desk in the studio, but once again, I just don't have the space for it. And I like to move my table around. And they're just not really movable because the legs are like heavy steel because they have like the electrical components in them and they need to be sturdy, right? But eventually if I ever get a bigger spot, I'll definitely have my sit-stand desk back operational for uh, when it comes to sorting, just super handy. I sort of want to get one of these whales for the kids. Look at that thing. It's got a zipper mouth. Or, check it out, we can get them a cardboard spaceship. So unfortunately I left the whale there, but I did get some more Lego sets. But now I wanna to go to the lighting aisle because I've actually heard that IKEA is coming out with a new product that is app controlled lighting. I cannot stand these carts. I cannot drive them. I'm gonna run into somebody. Like all four wheels turn. How are you supposed to steer these things? I made it to the light department and I immediately regret it because I wanna light up my cabinets but <laughs> she on the other foot, I don't want to. Uh, it involves like drilling holes in the back of my cabinets and running wires and makes it more difficult for like changing shelves and everything. They do have half controlled lights now though. Or like, I don't know. They've got smart lighting to a certain degree, I guess. Imagine that though. If I had like lights like that all throughout my cabinets and they're on sale right now, they're like 50% off. That's the, whatever that is, Slag Sida. Slag Sida. <laughs> so those are 50% uh, off. What are those though? Where are they? I don't know. Oh, these ones. I don't know if those would be the best. You know what? I'm gonna find my desk and go home. <laughs> Must be down here at the end somewhere. Tabletops. Oof, I wouldn't want to ride this cart like I do with the Costco ones. Well, it was probably in my best interest to grab one of the warehouse carts. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna make it happen. But there's one more thing we need to get. We can't not have these in the freezer. Swedish meatballs. Whoo, there we go. I just finished up at Ikea, not too bad. I love checking out and they're like, you saved this much money on Lego products. It's like, yeah, that feels good, man. That feels real good. I'm glad somebody like brought it to my attention that they were on sale today and today only. That's amazing. Thank you. And check it out. I got a nice warm coffee waiting for me in the car. It's like a reward. So when I got home, I was like, check it out, Millie. Look at all the Lego boxes we got. And she was like, oh, that's cool. And I pointed at him and she pointed at him. And then when I went to edit, I realized the clip was muted and I was pretty sad. So this is my current desk. It is the longest Linman table that you can get, otherwise known as leg captain now. But this thing was pretty cheap. I think it was like $75 for this tabletop. It's black, but it is just a piece of crap. It like scratches so easily. This happened earlier today when I was building a modular building. There was like a little rock, I guess, or, or something underneath the mill plate. And as I was spinning it, it scratched the table. How am I supposed to film a review on that now? That's just not professional at all. 
And then look at this, there's like a little nook or a little nick, I should say. And then there's just scratches all over this thing. It is ridiculous. Plus, because it's black, it shows every piece of dust and every piece of Tico hair imaginable. I have more like this in my garage, both in white and black, but same scenario. They're like all scratched up and stuff. So it's definitely time to upgrade my desk. So here's the shot of it before and after. Oh man, I'm excited to film my first review on this table. It's gonna be so cool. Now the only thing I need to do is repaint my wall. I've been meaning to do that forever. Oh, it's still got patches everywhere, but this table just looks like a beauty. I think it's gonna be a little bit more resilient to scratching. Plus if it does scratch, you won't be able to see it because of its color. I'm really excited about the bamboo feel. It's just so much like, higher quality as well. Like, look at that, it's got like a bevel on the edge there and it just feels like a nice thick piece of wood rather than being like a, whatever that is, particle board or hollow table, I guess. And once again, it's compatible with the wheel leg, so I'm pretty excited about that. I also saw a couple additional holes under here and I'm thinking that might be for a keyboard drawer, which would be super handy when it comes to building mocks. If I had a keyboard drawer, you could put your part bins on there, free up space on your tabletop, that is something I'm gonna look into. All right, it's time to bring on the Ikea boxes. Here we go, we've got some big stacks. Stack number one, stack number two, stack number three, and stack number four. Hey, I just used Google Translate and apparently this means construction game. It turns out Brixie has a ton of construction game because I bought 10 of each. It is an aggressive move for sure, buying 10 of each, that is just like ridiculous because there's no way that I can use all 10 of these in my current layout. But I wanna prepare for the future, right? Yeah. So I've got uh, 10 of the large ones, 10 of the medium ones, and 10 of the three packs. Check out the savings, it's actually crazy. So the top there, we've got the tabletop at $100, then 10 of those at $17.49, 10 at $15.99, 10 at $20.99, of course, those are Canadian funds. And then the grand total savings is $235. The grand total after GST, which is general sales tax of 5% here in Alberta, is sorry, $676.94 for the tabletop and 30 of the construction games from IKEA. Yeah, like I was mentioning, there is no way that I'll be able to use all those in this layout unless I do like a drastic change to the layout and raise up the campground or do something crazy with modular buildings. And you never know, I could do something like that. At least I have the product on hand now that I would be able to do something like that quite easily uh, just because it makes it so much easier than using uh, bricks as your base or pretty much any other form of Lego. Like I recently started using these and it is like night and day. I have mentioned it several times now that I am sort of preparing for the future uh, with the with getting these and also with like the storage of stuff that I have underneath the tables there, like the Quickie Mart, the Home Alone house, the Simpsons house, the mansion, all sorts of castles. And I'm just sort of like building a backlog of stuff that could be displayed potentially in a larger spot. It's pretty exciting. So there we go, everybody. Our construction game is on point. Thank you so much, Ikea, for doing these at 30% off. That is amazing. I had to strike when the time was right. Like, there was no passing up that opportunity. I, uh, I like, I saw that and I was like, immediately, I was like, I am going to Ikea today. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the near future, and farewell.